What's up, people of YouTube? I'm Karsatowski, and welcome to the Karsatowski Games YouTube channel. So today, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. So, my gaming channel has kind of become a little bit of a bowling YouTube channel. Like, I think I've posted some of the most bowling videos out of any YouTuber within the last six months to a year. And one of the most common questions I get, actually it is the most common question that I get on all my, almost all my videos, is how do I hook a bowling ball? Or how do I put hook on a bowling ball? Well, I think I'm going to do a little bit of an instructional video today. So if you guys are ready to get into it, let's go. Okay, so you want to put hook on a bowling ball, but you don't know how. So... Let's try to get into it. So, most starting off bowlers, whether they're bowling on the Wii or in real life, they tend to hold a ball kind of like this right in front of their face. And when they swing, they swing like a normal bowler. Usually the back swing's about here. But here's very important how you put hook on the bowling ball. So at the release point, where is their hand? It's right about here on top of the ball. Actually, I'm going to have to put that a little bit further back so you guys can see. So, their hand's generally about on top of the bowling ball. Very flat-wristed, and there's no power there. All you can do when you hold a bowling ball like that is just go straight. So, I'll demonstrate something similar. Well, that probably wasn't the best example, but basically the ball doesn't have much hook on it. You're on top of the ball, and... You just can't put any hook on it. Something a little bit more like that nice is there. what people will see. So the ball is just kind of rotating end over end, and it just doesn't make any kind of action to it. So, but you really want to be able to have the ball hook from right to left for right-hander and just opposite for left-hander. So here's pretty much how you do it. So when you're holding a bowling ball, you kind of want to hold it in a comfortable position like this. So... For the Wii Remote, you're just holding the Wii Remote like this, and you got your stance. So, when you go to do your swing, you bring your arm up, and you just let your arm kind of make a swinging motion like here. A lot of people, a lot of bowling coaches will tell you it's like a pendulum. And a pendulum just swings freely, so get that arm swing, swing freely. But now, instead of when you go to the release point, instead of your hand being on top of here, you want to do your arm swing. And then your hand wants to be more in a cup position. See how my hand's cup right here? And when it's in that cup position, you want to release with the hook. And your hand should be similar to how you're going to shake somebody's hand. So, arm swing, back up, back down, and then just like you're about to shake someone's hand. So the motion goes something similar to this. Just right there. So let's put that into practice, shall we? So we got swing and then release. And there you have it. That is the quintessential hook that you guys should be practicing right there. So let's do another shot. So remember, the swing, push, swing, release and the release point for bowling is basically going to be right about your ankle now i doubt in wee bowling you're going to actually do a full approach but if you're going to do actual bowling your release point would be right at your ankle and you would just follow through but in bowling you don't really have to go bending down and everything like that because you guys aren't actually bowling with a bowling ball and a pair of lanes in a bowling center so just kind of Get in your stance and work on releasing it around your hip area and then just follow through. So let's try that again. So stance, arm swing, follow through. There we go. That one didn't have quite as much hook, but you're trying to get that snap of the wrist like you're about to shake someone's hand. So let's try this again. So swing, follow through. It'll take you guys a few tries to get it down, but repetition and practice is going to be key for this. 
I mean, I started Wii Bowling in 2008, and I really didn't learn how to put a lot of hook on a bowling ball until about seven years later. So about half my time with doing Wii Bowling, I put hardly any hook on a bowling ball at all. So let's try that again. So, swing, release. Okay. Now, there are a bunch of different kinds of hook that you can put on a bowling ball, and I'm going to show you a few of those after we work on some more of these drills right here. Follow through. See how my hand is at the top of the swing? That's where you want your hand to be for a bowling ball. Now, so, just continue to work on that. Good. Now, a good way, now if you guys want to get into like actual bowling, there are a few drills you can use for those. I'll probably make a comparison video between actual bowling and Wii bowling. If you guys would like for me to do that, leave that down in the comment below if you want to see that. But some drills to help you get into that cup of the wrist and to release you can use a softball or some people use a football either one of those is just fine so basically you got your ball you're pretty much just practicing flicking it up and catching it flicking up and catching it i don't have an actual ball in my room so i can't really demonstrate in real life but that's about how you practice but we bowling is really good for practicing in real life as well because you've got that Wii remote you could practice of actually doing the motions. You keep doing that multiple times a day. You know, this Wii remote, as long as you got the wrist strap, you know, it's not going anywhere. So you can just keep doing that motion over and over again until you've got that down. And just practice that motion over and over and yes, over again. Man. So now we're gonna move on to a little bit more of a way to hook it. So, a lot of times when I'm bowling at this specific part of the lane, I'm not necessarily having more of an open hand. Like if I was going to do this flick of the motion to where my hand is in a position where I'm going to shake someone's hand, if I was doing real bowling, my hand would look somewhere similar to this. That's an open hand release. That is a clean release. And most people do that when they're playing a little bit more left. But normally in Wii Bowling, when I'm playing this straight, my hand is in a little bit more of a position like this. So instead of actually flicking my wrist to the side to make the ball hook more from right to left, I'm actually hooking the ball a little bit more straight. So instead of flicking motion like this, it's more like this. Just like that. Kind of like how you're going to do bells. Like, have you seen carolers and people like that? People who use the bells in Christmas time? That's pretty much the motion that I use to go straight. Because the ball's rolling more end over end so that it doesn't create that sharp left hook so that you can actually have more control of the bowling ball. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what I do. So swing, follow through. Now you see a little bit more of that ball. That ball has a little bit more control because instead of it rotating this way, it's more or less rotating this way. It still has a little bit more angle. It has a little bit of angle on it, but it's more controlled so I can keep the pocket directly in front of me. And that's usually what I do for when I go straight. Try that a few times and the ball really is not hooking that much down lane. It's using most of that energy within the first 15 to 30 feet on the lane, and then it's just going at a fairly controlled motion down lane. So let's try that again. I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera, but you can see my finished position is the sensor on my Wii Remote is pointing towards my head. If I was going to play a little bit further left, and I was going to go more in this motion, then the sensor bar would be pointing towards the ceiling. So that's the difference in my hand position and the Wii Remote position at release point for different releases. And you can see right there, and having good ball speed 
is really good for that part of the lane because I can throw it a little bit slower or a little bit faster with that same type of ball motion and it will relatively stay close to the pocket. So a release just like this is really good for playing straight. And you see, I pretty much missed the pocket that time and it still got a light mixer. But what if you don't want to play straight? What if you want to go really far inside the lane and you really want to get that big hook that you see the pros do? Well, that's a little bit more advanced, but I think I'll show you guys a little bit in this video too. So try to go a little bit further inside and sometimes you have to play around on your angles and stuff but for hooking the ball you pretty much want to have this same shake your hand motion but one thing the bowlers do to kind of dictate the amount of axis tilt that the ball has is they will actually rotate their wrist a certain amount of degrees most of the time you're going to have your wrist pretty flat. See on my arm, my wrist is in a pretty straight line over here. But the further left that you will play for right hander, a lot of times that you'll angle your wrist a little bit more to the left side. So this is a little bit more axis tilt, this is less axis tilt. Less axis tilt is for going straight, and more axis tilt is for going a little bit further left. So let's try it with more of this axis tilt and do more of that shake your hand motion. I don't know if you guys could have seen it too, too well in that shot right there, but the ball did rotate a little bit more to that left motion. And I'm gonna see if I could probably do that a little bit more again. See if I can make it rotate a little bit further to the left. And if you guys can tell, that ball really starts to pull left. That ball has a lot more axis tilt on it and I'm doing that shake your hand motion to where the ball will just go left really hard. And again, it's for a bowler who's just beginning, a lot of these ways of axis tilt are really difficult to see. But the more that you guys bowl on Wii Sports Bowling, the more that you'll be able to pick it up. So basically, all you have to do for putting a hook on a bowling ball is instead of your wrist basically being flat at release point, it just... Like, almost like you're throwing something out, you just... Have your wrist cupped once you're at the release point and flick your wrist to make that ball hook. Because this wrist right here is where all of that power at the release point comes from. And if it's cupped and you release it, there's a lot of power. But if you have it flat when you're releasing the ball, there's just, there's just no power to it. It's just going to go straight. So just work on these drills. And I guarantee you guys that your bowling scores are going to go up. And also try this in real life too. Like, in real life it's obviously going to be a little bit more difficult to do that. But, I might make a video sometime eventually on comparison of real bowling versus Wii Sports Bowling to help you guys out with both real bowling and Wii Sports Bowling. So that's pretty much my tutorial over here. And feel free to ask in the comments down below what you thought about this video and if you guys would like for me to make a few more tutorial videos about bowling and whatever stuff like that. I've been bowling for... Um, I've been bowling more competitively for about the last eight years, so I know a thing or two about bowling. Yeah, so feel free to just message me in the comments below if you have any questions and also to be sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Well, I'm Karsatowski, keep watching my content, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys!